Leif Erikson was a restless explorer, always looking for new lands to discover and trade with. He had heard stories from his father, Eric the Red, who had founded the first Norse settlement in Greenland, about a mysterious land to the west, where the sun never set in summer and the trees grew tall and green. Leif wanted to see this land for himself, and perhaps find riches and glory there. He gathered a crew of 35 men and set sail from Greenland in a sturdy longship, following the coast of Baffin Island and Labrador. He spotted a barren land of ice and rocks, which he called Heluland, meaning flat stone land. He continued southward, finding a forested land with sandy shores, which he named Markland, meaning forest land. He sailed on for two more days, until he reached a place where a river flowed into a fjord. There, he decided to make camp and explore the surroundings. He found the land to be fertile and pleasant, with wild grapes growing on vines, salmon swimming in the river, and grasslands suitable for pasture. He called this place Vinland, meaning Wineland or pasture land. He spent the winter there, building houses of wood and turf, trading with the local people, who he called Skralings, meaning wretches or barbarians, and exploring the coast by boat. He was amazed by the abundance and diversity of the land, which was unlike anything he had seen before. He thought of bringing more settlers from Greenland to establish a permanent colony there. He also wondered what lay beyond Vinland, if there were more lands to discover and conquer. He returned to Greenland in the spring, bringing back timber, furs, grapes, and stories of his adventure. He was hailed as a hero by his people, who were eager to hear more about Vinland and its wonders. He planned to go back there soon, but fate intervened. His father died, leaving him in charge of the Greenland colony. He also became involved in a feud with another chieftain, who accused him of killing his men. He had to defend himself and his honor in a series of battles and lawsuits. He never returned to Vinland, but his brother Thorvald did. He led an expedition of 30 men to Vinland, hoping to find more land and resources. He arrived at Leif's campsite and stayed there for three years. He explored further south along the coast, but encountered hostile Skralings who attacked him with arrows. He was wounded in skirmish and died soon after. His men buried him under a cross and sailed back to Greenland. Other Vikings followed in their footsteps, trying to establish a foothold in Vinland or find new lands beyond it. Some of them were traders, looking for valuable goods to sell in Europe. Some of them were adventurers, seeking fame and fortune. Some of them were outlaws, fleeing from justice or enemies. Some of them were settlers, looking for a better life. But none of them succeeded in making Vinland their home. They faced many challenges and dangers. Harsh winters, scarce resources, unfamiliar diseases, fierce storms, and hostile natives. They also lacked support from their homeland. Greenland was isolated and impoverished, Norway was distant and divided, and Europe was plagued by wars and famines. The Vikings' presence in North America was brief and sporadic. According to a new study published in 2021, they arrived there no later than 1021 AD, exactly 1,000 years ago, centuries before Christopher Columbus. They left behind only a few traces, some wooden artifacts, some runic inscriptions, some sagas, and some DNA. They also left behind a legacy. They were the first Europeans to cross the Atlantic Ocean and reach the Americas. They opened up new horizons for exploration and discovery. They inspired generations of adventurers and dreamers. They showed that the world was bigger and more diverse than anyone had imagined. They were the Vikings, bold, brave, and curious.